let's recap exactly what's at the Mammoth site. We have a sinkhole deposit in South, o South Dakota that's filled up with sediment that spans about 120 to 190,000 years ago. That mass of stuff was, has accumulated, but the actual sinkhole around it eroded away, right? Mm -hmm. And then it left yeah, kind so of like a hill deposit full yeah, of exactly. Pleistocene fauna, right? So yeah, our site is a bit more of a trap that it's biased toward larger animals like mammoths just because of the surrounding sediments around the sinkhole. It's mostly the spearfish formation, which in this part of the Black Hills tends to be mostly shale. So because of that, the sides would have been pretty slippery and steep. So a large animal like a mammoth coming in and sliding down on those steeper ends would have really struggled to try to get back out just because of the structure of their bodies. They've got such long arms that are meant to support their body weight, not really to scramble in and up out of certain areas. So because of that, the mammoths would have a much easier time being trapped than say, giant short-faced bear or some kind yeah. of canid or cat that could have easily scrambled out. At. So because of that, our bias is really toward mammoths because they would have been entrapped in there and died in there uh, versus other animals that more likely could have gotten out of the sinkhole.